Well, in Centennial High School is transforming their theater back in time for their latest production, West Side Story. It's an interesting reworking of Romeo and Juliet because in the original we have two people from two feuding families that fall in love. In this story we have two individuals from two feuding gangs. In, it's in New York, set in the west side of New York, around 1957 is the setting. And uh, the repercussions of this love that they share uh, ends up being quite tragic, as it does in Shakespeare's version as well. We have a very talented cast this year. The uh, total number of students involved in the cast is 46, I think. And um, specifically, we have some actually local celebrities in our cast this year. Some of you may have heard about Jessica Wilson's recent recognition down. on Ryan Seacrest's website. She was chosen as having the best cover of Timber. And uh, this was an amazing accomplishment. She's an incredibly talented singer and the rest of the cast measures up in every way. Maria falls in love with Tony and she just came over from Puerto Rico so she's kind of new in America and she's really friendly but throughout the play she kind of changes her attitude and becomes more mature. And what was involved in preparing for the role of Maria? Um, I've never really played a role like Maria before, so um, a lot of emotional preparation and it's uh, more dramatic than most of the comedies that I've been in before. So it was a lot of preparation, um, dance experience to uh, different singing, different acting. So probably about six months of preparation of emotional roles. Can you tell me about the role of your character, Tony? Uh, Tony is... Uh, your typical hardworking 50s man. Uh, he falls in love, a uh, forbidden love, and uh, it's, it's really tragic. But he's a good guy, and I love playing him. Can you tell me about your character, Anita? Yes, um, she plays love interest with Bernardo, and um, she's a lead shark girl, so she's Puerto Rican. Um, she's a main dancer, and um, she plays opposite with Maria. Were there any particular challenges for this character that you're playing? Well, it's a very um, sexy role, so I had to kind of bring that out of me, which was a little bit challenging, but I overcome that. Why did you decide to get involved with this production? Last year I did the musical as well, Trial by Judy, um, and I just loved it. I met so many great people, and I thought like it would just be an awesome experience. And then when they held auditions, I was like, yeah, Riff is a great character, and I know West Side Story, so I was like, yeah, it's, it's for me. So. What kind of benefit was it for you to already have been familiar with West Side Story? Um, it, was, it was a benefit because I knew what I was getting into and I knew um, the things I had to look out for and the things that were going to be challenging and not challenging, which was kind of cool. So. I understand that there's a lot of snapping in the play, yeah. so did you have to take any special classes to get that down? <laughs> Definitely not. No, um, snapping is just pretty, pretty easy, you know. So. <laughs> Can you tell me about the choreography in West Side Story? There is a lot of action in this uh, musical, especially for the boys. The boys have had to learn a lot in a short amount of time. They've worked really hard. Most of them didn't have any dance training at all. Um, and the girls have had to work too. There's a lot of uh, mambo type movements, cha-cha movements, and it's been great. It's been a lot of fun working with this group of students. And can you tell me about the fight scene? The fight scene. We had a fight choreographer for that, so luckily that was not that was not me. Um, but again, the boys learned that choreography really well. They practiced a lot, and every uh, night before the show, they'll have to review that choreography. We have a very talented cast, and they've been working really hard. And uh, I think it's it's got something for everything. There, believe it or not, there's also some humor in this show. It is primarily a serious story but uh, I'm convinced everybody will get a great experience, a great theatrical experience. The curtains will open up for West Side Story Thursday, April 24th. Tickets can be purchased at the door or by calling the Centennial office. In Welland reporting for The Source, I'm Brendan Sylvia.